everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you in a quite quick tutorial probably uh, how to make a flood on your maps. To start with this simple flood, all we're going to need is these two devices right here. So uh, for this trigger, you can have a trigger or anything else that will transmit a channel. So we have this trigger that is set so that uh, when it's triggered it transmits on a channel and this water receives from the channel. It can be any channel as long as the water receives from the channel. And it also can be any device that transmits to a channel. I'm just using a trigger because it's easier. And then uh, for this, since I'm flooding the entire map, I do water width 100, water depth 100, and water height 100. The default vertical water percentage is set to zero because we obviously don't want to start with water. And uh, the vertical filling speed, I'd say about 6 to 12 BPM um, is a good range, otherwise it'll be too slow or too fast, but I mean if you want it faster or slower then you can have it like that. And I'd set it to about 1 if you're having like a, a battle royale map that's like slowly filling up, uh, that would be a cool effect too. And then obviously start vertical filling when receiving from channel 12. And then what I did is I took this device and I, I resized it all the way up. So now, that should cover the entire island, I believe. Uh, yeah, because you can't even see the zone edge or anything over here. So, uh, if you size it all the way up, it should cover the whole island. Or at least most of it. I guess there, there's a chance, but this, this is the biggest island, so. But there is a chance that you might have to copy it and, like, paste it somewhere else. Uh, but this should cover it. So... Now we're going to start the game and just test this out. Okie dokie, here we are. And now, if I stand on this trigger here, I should just wait a little bit. And there we go. It's, what the heck is going on with me? Okay, I am glitching out. This should not be happening. But, as you see, the map is filling up. It might be a little bit fast, so you might want to slow it down a little bit. But, for a good fast flood, I like this. Seriously, what is going on with me? I'm floating above the water. Did my leg just break? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try to ignore that. Um, but this will just uh, fill up all the way. And actually, on that thought, you might not want to put the height limit all the way up to 100 because this might eventually um, flood out of the height barrier which would end the game which would not be good. So let me show you how to fix that. trigger isn't working. Here. Let me grab this. Let me bring the height down. Okay, now the height. Alright, there's the device. Where's the height? I think there's a chance the height resizing was what was causing the swimming glitches and and everything like that. There it goes. Okay, it's filling up a lot slower. That looks so awesome. Can I swim in it properly? Okay, let's just, just, alright, I have a fix. Just count how many tiles you need, you need it to go up, and just don't mess with the height resizing. That was my bad. The height resizing is definitely what's causing the swimming glitches, because now look at this. Uh, this should not be happening. The thing is, I was doing this exact same thing yesterday when the device first came out, and it was all working fine. So that's confusing. Just don't mess with the height of the swimming, the, 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 of the, the water. 
Because now, now it's filling up super slowly, and I can't swim in it. So I guess if you want non-swimmable water, um, that you can see completely through, which, isn't that just the, the water tiles? Whatever. Zoop. And there we go. The water is working properly now, and you, you can't just see through it. So, that's fun. Still didn't work. Does that setting on the triggers just not work? I trigger it myself and it stopped the water movement. That setting is just broken on the triggers. Gosh dang it, dude. That. Okay, okay, dokie. All right. Well. Well. Okay. So that trigger thing works, but something's gonna have to hit it, like a sequencer, I don't know. If you have a sequencer that goes up with the water at the right time, I guess. That's annoying. It's, that, that, it's literally a setting called triggered by water, and it doesn't trigger by water. Where's the trigger? Bad. So now, something else you can add with water is boats. You can add, like, things that float up with it. So, alright, I got this boat from the Pirate Cove prop gallery. If we had this, this setting on these triggers worked, where it got triggered by water, we put an invisible trigger next to this, so that when the water came up, because I'm hoping that that, that that setting works soon, when the water comes up, it hits the trigger and the boat starts to go up at the right speed. But for now, you just gotta try to find the bottom of your water device. Where is mine? I'm confused. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And uh, I'll put it right underneath. Right underneath. Hopefully that works. And then we're gonna grab a prop mover. Okay, we're gonna need a good snap for this. Because we need it to be facing straight up properly and then we're going to attach it to the boats and it's going to go up um yeah enable tile based distance and we're going to go up however many tiles your water device goes up so we i'm going to turn this to good snap four i'm going to line up the bottom with or not. I'm gonna turn it up to like 16. I'm gonna try to line up the bottom of it with the bottom of the grid island. Is that it? Did I do it? That's, you know what, that's good enough. So I'm gonna multi-select these two. I'm gonna put this, the, it, it wasn't perfectly on the ground, it was like right above, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that, and now, how, okay, distance was a hundred, so we're not, that only goes up 75 tiles, so this, the height of this is gonna have to go down to, are you kidding me? Okay, 70. It's gonna ha it's gonna be close enough. It's gonna it's gonna have to be close enough. It's just gonna on player collision, we're gonna continue. Or no no, we're gonna push. Pop collision, continue. Path complete action actually it might be good since this won't, they can't be on the same level. If this went up to 80, and this only goes up to 75, except it ping pongs, um, then once it reaches the top, it looks like it sinks again. And then more boats just keep floating almost back up to the surface, but don't reach it to the surface. 
Anyway, the speed. Where is the speed? Speed. I gotta experiment with this. I don't know if beats per beats beats per minute and uh, meters per second. Uh, I want to find out the relationship to those. Because if we find out the relationship between those, then it's going to be easier to line them up. you're gonna get with this I thought this would work a lot better it is so glitchy when the prop mover is moving slowly okay here we go just don't turn your camera just stay still but I would say what you're gonna want to do is probably put the flood at 16 beats per minute which doesn't make sense because it's a flood um, but whatever and put the boat at one meter per second. I really wish they were the same units because that would just make things way easier. And try to go um, around like mul multiples of those uh, units, those those measurements to get perfect. Like if you want uh, a faster flood that's like 32 beats per minute, then put this at 2 meters per second and it'll probably work around, around 2, no, around 32 beats per minute to 2 meters per second should work. But uh, the boat still gets overtaken. And why am I drowning? That is so weird. These devices are pretty new and are kind of broken. And uh, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and learned something that you can use in your maps. Um, yeah, some conclusions. Uh, the, the water, the triggered by water setting uh, on triggers does not work. And also remember, try to put it, uh, the things in multiples, if you're using boats, of 16 beats per minute to about one meter per second uh, my boat is sinking so thank you all for watching uh kindly subscribe and like if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something and also if you feel like it if you're in the item shop buying some some new skins or something uh throw in code gravy man it would really help support me thank you so much uh, I should come up with the catchphrase. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, jeez. Ah, ah.